breath sounds. Don't try to mimic how, how I sound. But uninterrupted, this is an example. <sighs> This is what I'm delving in today. As you know, I am a queen of Fu, a sacred woman. I went through the rites of passages, passage and ascended in uh, 2021. And today I'm actually reading about the spirit of the womb because uh, that's what we're studying during the month of January and the womb, womb healing. We must speak to our wombs. We must clear our wombs. We, we got to know all of this. This is my morning practice. It is 4.30. Yes, I am up at 4.30 doing what I need to do to rejuvenate myself. What are you doing to rejuvenate yourself? No matter how early you got to get up or how late you need to stay up. What are you doing? Okay, bathroom CEO chat. You have to be willing to let go of some things to move on, to clear your womb, to clear your space. That's what I've been doing specifically since 2020. I've been clearing, I've been letting go so that I can invite more goodness, more abundance, more great opportunities in. I've dumped friends, I've let go of business opportunities, I've raised my rates, I've done all of these things. And it, I'm going to set this down for a second. It is, um, it is challenging from time to time because you're like, Am I going to be able to be the same person that I always was? Am I going to be able to produce on the level that I did in the past? The reality is, and this is something I had to come to grips with, I don't want to be past Elmira. I want to be current and future Elmira. That's what I want to say to you. Embrace your presence and present and your presence and your future. Because far too long, I was living in the past. I was attached. Even when I was in a Queen of Fua Sacred Woman, my closing ascension affirmation was I release attachment to the past to make room for romantic love and a baby. And that's what I've done. I've cleared my womb. I've done all of this stuff. We have to balance in order to excel professionally and get the millions or whether you want to make six figures you're shooting for your first 45,000. It really doesn't matter. You have to balance your personal life with what you are doing professionally. Because if you have not released, if you have not detached, you can't bring more your way. Hey. We're about to go to day two of training at my new fun experience. You gotta be excited about stuff. Be excited about life. As my colleague Robin says, the great Robin David, today is going to be a fruitful day. I got Waffle House training from 8 to 2. Then I have to go rectify something with my bank. So I got to um, print off this document to send them. 
I also have a coaching session with one of my coach. Yes, I have multiple business coaches, mindset coaches, all kinds of coaches um, who, who help me thrive and to be the best that I can be. That's happening at 4.30 in between. And mind you, I've been up since 4 a.m. In between, I have to do some reminders to people about the the preview party tomorrow because the red carpet virtual preview party for the web series grief is grief is happening tomorrow we're hosting a day party and a night party and part of being a ceo you have to do email marketing you got to do text marketing you got to remind people of shit because they forget everybody's busy with their life they don't remember your stuff and especially when it's not on tv because so many people are enthralled in TV. They pay attention when the Super Bowl or the Grammys and stuff, but because my business is smaller, they're like, oh, I forgot about your shit, Elmire. So I got to send out a shit tone, shit ton of emails and text messages reminding people, don't forget the party is tomorrow. Um, so that's what's on my plate for today. It's always something, but it's a blessing. None of this feels like work because I'm. it comes from my heart. This is part of my vision. And people are like, how do, you, how do you stay full energy? How do you stay so positive? Because I lead a positive life. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm doing what the hell I want to do. Not what somebody else told me to do. That's my message for today. Stop doing what somebody else told you to do. Plan your life, design your life, make it full, make it fruitful. All right, just fresh out of my coaching, my coaching session, I was actually being coached by one of my business coach. She goes by Coach G and she really helped me out today, get some clarification. She's like, don't call your program that, just simply call it, get over your ex in six weeks because that's what I help you do. That's what I help people do. If you know someone who needs to get over their ex and they want to do it in as quick as six weeks, I can assist with that because it's been my story. What else do I have to say? Get coaching. Whether you um, need a personal trainer, you need to shift your mindset, you need a wellness coach, you need a vocal coach. I mean, it's so many different types of coaching coaches, a dance coach. Um, they're all out here to be for the taking a marketing coach. I believe in coaches to the 10th degree because I've had so many of them over my lifetime, life coaching, all of that. But my session today was amazing.